Okay, in this video, um, we're gonna do the first step that you should do anytime that you're evaluating a limit, and that's see if you can do the easiest thing possible, which is um, just, just see if you can plug in the value. So, so um, if I, and, and use the limit law. So if I, if I think about this limit, the limit as x approaches one of uh, x plus three divided by x minus five, I can think that you know, as x is going to one, x plus three is going to, is, is going to four. As, as x gets close to one, x plus three is close to four. Um, and as x gets close to one, x minus five is going to uh, negative four. If x is close to one, then x minus five is close to negative four. And so using the limit laws, um, I can say that this limit is going to equal the limit since both of these exist, right? So I can use the limit laws and say that this is gonna be the limit as x goes to one of x plus three divided by the limit as x goes to one of x minus five. And this is just four divided by negative four. So this limit is going to be negative one. Another way to see this is that if I consider the function f of x, which is x plus three divided by x minus five, this function is continuous at x equals one. If I look at the graph of this function and I were to graph it, I wouldn't have to pick up my pencil at x equals one. This function is continuous at x equals one. And so this means that the limit as x goes to one, using the definition of continuity of f of x is equal to f of one. And so it's equal to what happens if I just plug in one. So this is equal to one plus three divided by one minus five, which is uh, negative one. There's sort of two different ways to see it. And this is the first thing that you should try if you're trying to evaluate a limit. Try the easiest thing. Most of the time, it's not going to work. Um, or a lot of times it, it won't work, but if, if it does work, it's very easy. So you should try this first when you're trying to, to compute a limit. 